Tayan from Pueblo Science. I'm a fourth year undergraduate student at University of Toronto studying human biology. And today we're going to be doing a fun experiment where we're going to put on our detective hats and investigate which types of germs corrode our teeth and how that's done. So for this experiment, you'll need the following items. For this experiment, you'll need the following items. Five clear plastic cups, five white boiled eggs, the following drinks, water, cola or Pepsi, coffee, milk, juice. I'm going to be using pineapple juice here. You can use any types of drinks you have handy. Sharpie for labeling, spoon to scoop out the eggs from the cup, plate, finally toothbrush and toothpaste, as we're going to see how brushing our teeth can prevent tooth decay. Okay, so now that our eggs are bathing in our solution, take a moment to pause this video and copy down this chart. What do you expect to see? What's happening here? Well, eggshells have similar chemicals to those that make up our tooth enamel, that is the outer layer of our teeth. Both contain calcium compounds, calcium carbonate for the eggs, and calcium phosphate for the enamel. They slightly differ in their polyatomic ion groups. Polyatomic ions basically means it contains more than one atom. As you may know, atoms are the building blocks for all matter in this universe. For example, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and the list goes on. In calcium carbonate, we have a carbonate polyatomic ion that has one carbon, three oxygen atoms with a charge of two minus. In calcium phosphate, we have a phosphate polyatomic ion that has a phosphorus and four oxygen atoms with a charge of three minus. Due to the electrostatic attraction between the calcium ion, which is positively charged, and the polyatomic ion that is negatively charged, they are held together by an ionic bond. However, depending on the pH of a solution, this can dissolve both the calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate through a process called demineralization. This results in the weakening of the eggshells and tooth enamel. Let's take a look at the pH of the solutions that we used for this experiment. Cola or Pepsi has a pH of 2.3 to 2.5, juice 3.5, coffee 4.8 to 5.10, milk 6.7 to 6.9, and water has a neutral pH of 7. The reason why the eggs in the cola, juice, and coffee solution have changed in color is because they have lots of hydrogen ions. In other words, they're very acidic. Acid is known to attack calcium hydroxyphosphate, that is the crystalline form of calcium phosphate into the enamel. Here's the following chemical reaction. Calcium hydroxyphosphate, the tooth enamel, reacts with acid, resulting in the following products, calcium ions, phosphoric acid, and water. When acid levels in the mouth are high, for instance, when we drink a lot of cola, the chemical reaction is forced to the right. This is known as forward reaction. As a result, more calcium is dissolved. As you can see, when we take our toothbrush and a bit of toothpaste, we can start to whiten the brown layers. This is because of the fluoride ions found in our toothpaste. These essentially reverses the tooth decay reaction by a process called remineralization. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about science related concepts, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on TikTok and Facebook. Don't forget to send us a picture of your tooth decay eggshell experiment. We'd love to see it. Bye.